Hi everyone, I thought I'd give you something a little bit different today. I've had a lot of people ask me how I edit my videos and I'm using um, Final Cut Pro uh, but as you know I'm not a actual a true video photographer, I just do fusion. My uh, main emphasis is photography but I am now doing more and more videos so I thought I'd show you how I edit them in Final Cut Pro. Now basically if you look, this is the Final Cut Pro document uh, that we're looking at. This is the actual um, document that I actually put up um, the other day uh, that you can see if you look at my previous video on YouTube but I wanted to show you that because of the light this was all shot natural light and I had the camera just on a tripod on its own uh, the lighting conditions were changing so this image is actually really quite dark um, now you can actually fix it um, using the normal controls in in Final Cut which if you go to here and say show color board um, you can see that you can alter the color, the saturation, and the exposure, etc., using all sliders. Um, I don't really like working that way. I like to use color wheels, and it's similar things to like I, I would work with in Photoshop with curves and things like that. So what I'll do is I'll show you what I actually use, and I'm using Color Finelli, which uh, down here I've got the pro version. Now I'm not sponsored by them at all, I just love this program, I paid for this program. But basically all you do is you have your clip highlighted that you want to bring it onto, and you just drag uh, that Color Finelli Pro onto um, the timeline. And as soon as you do that, if I click back now up here, I can then access um, this uh, dialog box which if I open the controls you can see it brings up controls here now one thing to note first I have got the scope showing so you can see what's actually happening on the scopes here and if you look at it you can see that 100% this is your highlight range this is your shadow end down here um, and you can see that also this you could check for white balance as well because you could see if one color was is predominantly uh, higher than the others like for instance you could see that the red channel uh, was a little bit higher. Now I can fix that in this color uh, finale and I'll show you how I do that. Um, for instance, if I want to, I could go into curves and then you can see that this has, this is overall, this is the red channel, green channel, blue channel. And what you can do then is I could actually bring down just the uh, red channel so I get it balanced sort of like that so then you can see that that's actually balanced if that's what you wanted to do. Um, I'll go back here because I want to actually go in these sliders and show you how they work. You can work from sliders if you like or you can use the color wheels. I actually like to use the color wheels. You can drag these color wheels around as well. For instance if I wanted to move like this you can sort of see that I can drag um, color wheels around as well. Um, but how this basically works is I can have, this is your saturation um, so if you found that you know you wanted to take out colors or put different colors in you can just drag these around these sliders um, I'm just going to bring this back so it's it's around or it was roughly before um, now what I normally will do is you can see the highlights are under exposed here so I could just drag up my highlights and you can see that that's giving the image a nice kick there if I wanted to I could raise up my shadows a little bit as well and this is is overall so if for instance you are down here I could drag this little slider up and move it so it's basically showing as, as being correct here um, once you've got your balance basically like you want it I then could go back to the controls down here and uh, manipulate this as well so I could drag the green down a little bit if I like I could grab the blue down a little bit if I wanted to I can also click through here and add a little bit of contrast so then you're working basically like you would in inside uh, the Photoshop curves and things like that and you can see up here if I take that off you can see where I've gone from which was the original images there and I've taken it to there. Um, so it's a really interesting uh, little tool and I love working with this tool to get the image looking like I, I want it. I've got the scope so I can see what's happening and then I can use the curves and everything else to, to bring it through. The other thing here too, you can actually uh, load LUTs through this as well and I'll show you that when I start to show you how I correct for the flat profiles on the GH5 and also my Sony log profiles. Um, and this is also how you can uh, affect the hue, saturation and, and luminosity as well. So it's a really, really great tool to use. So I just thought that I'd show you that now. Eventually I'm going to start showing you how I use this program and, and use it for my Fusion and I'll, I'll build a, a whole uh, video with you and you can sort of see how it's being used. But I just thought that I'd share that with you now. Uh, so that's all for now and I'll see you soon for the next video. Bye guys.